It's a brisk morning here in Tennessee. And I'm ready for this. Maybe in a previous video you saw that when we had the underground trenching for wires to go from the pole to the houses, it had to be two feet. Well, it wasn't quite two feet. We needed to be at least two feet. And now as a result, what we need to do is have earth workers come to bring the grade up so that the wires are at least two feet underground. Also, there's that saying when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. So what we're gonna do, we've been wanting to make like a stone patio. And we got these big rocks as you've seen in previous videos coming out of the earth. So with that, <clears throat> Lord willing, we get some creative, clever uh, earth workers and they're gonna help us level this earth out, make a little bit of a stone patio and make the grade so that these wires are actually two feet underneath the ground, which makes the inspector happy, which makes everyone happy, unfortunately. And then from there, that's gonna be exciting. So that's where we're at right now. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So here is the carnage remnants of the last experience. There's the, there's the power pole and there's the trench which runs underneath and here's a little temporary bridge to get over it. And as you may have seen in a previous video, I'm not sure, but I ran the water line and the sewer line over so that it's a sewer line from this house, from the studio house, and the water line going over to be connected in over here. So with that, we're going to build all this up. It's got to come up pretty high and uh, we'll see what it looks like, but this is just sort of the, the beginnings of it. And with any creative process with multiple people involved, we're going to see what we create. And these are the stones I was sort of telling you about over here, right? We have a bunch of just little stones, but we also have a bunch of like pretty decent sized stones here. Some of these stones are like, like I may have mentioned in previous videos, like four feet square, right? So those are going to be pretty exciting. And just to make a mosaic, a mosaic is the best word I can describe. So waiting for the earth workers to get here and um, see what happens. Let's see what we generate. Other thing that you'll see is we are working on, mm, we're calling this the mud flats for now, but we're going to try to take grade out of this and try to help the water because what we've been noticing is water as it comes down from the road, comes down here and it's creating channels in the shirt and really eroding uh, eroding the road here. So either way, we're gonna try to do some management of, of the mud flats, which may not make sense in this sort of video, but it's got a bit of a slope and it's running all the water down. So we're gonna try to take material from here, some topsoil and clay from here, put it back here to level this out, level that out, and we're gonna see what we create, but that's the uh, intention, so. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what happens. The other wonderful thing that's going to be happening today is, again, previous video, we got sort of weird mud flats and we have the church driveway. <laughs> and uh, every single delivery driver, when they see this, kind of goes, you want me to, you, you want me to, what? I'm like, you're going to drive through that. You'll make it, I promise. Everyone else does. Regardless, we got leftover chert, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grade this thing out, make that pretty, and chert from sea to shining sea over here is what, what's gonna happen, right? So instead of having, and granted, like I said, it's it literally getting down below freezing every night, so all this mud is pretty hard, but it's instead of making all these ruts in here, and making it not passable, we're gonna take this mud which on a normal day is slicker than grease snot, we, we've heard and he say say. So he's gonna make that chert, and it's gonna be a nice chert driveway all the way across. So delivery drivers are like, more okay with it. And we're okay with it, because we want it to look more pretty than just that. Anyway, that's another project happening today here in Tennessee. All right.
So this pipe is in the middle of the porch, and as you can see, it's well above two feet, almost at three feet, and we're gonna be putting a big six inch, 10 foot square slab of rock on this now. So you can see here how thick it is. It's almost at three feet, and we will be putting that slab, bringing it beyond three feet, just as the detail.
What a day. What a day. The mud flats got cleaned up. Got that swale put in. And the biggest thing, not the biggest thing, but one of the big things is we got this patio. There it is. Big old rock patio. Now our job is to clean it up. Come here, let me show you this cool little thing. We got like a little trilobite. I don't know if I can see it or not, but a little trilobite fossil. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but it's like a little trilobite fossil. That is so cool. <laughs> so what's that? Been definitely days you can see it's getting dark. I'm getting dark here. And uh, here it is. Lots happened, lots of earth moving. That beautiful patio is done. And it's gonna look even more amazing once um, we clean it up. We got a swale, we got a swale. We have a berm here to cover between the tent pole to make it to come to at least two feet. And you can see on these uh, on the sticks, because the inspector needed it, here's three feet, two feet is below that. So we're definitely at, at, that, at that grade. So that's beautiful. And the same thing with that over here, right? So you got a little berm, cover the wire, more than enough grade to cover all that stuff. So that's really beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna take you to the top of the hill and show you the next cool thing here. On our way up to the top of the hill, you kind of saw earlier, but they did a lot. They did a lot today. So you can kind of, maybe not depending on, if you can see a swale here. What's a swale? Swale is like a trench, basically. But what that was put in for is all the way through the whole mud flats basically following that yellow extension cord. And it's picking up all of this. Look at that, doesn't that look beautiful now? You crowned, you crown the road so the water goes out because we had a big problem with water from the main road coming down and washing out everything down here. Now take a look at this, everyone. We have a large driveway. Isn't that cool? <laughs> we actually have a large driveway with a power pole in the middle. That's, that's crooked. Power pole is kind of crooked, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's in. But look at that. We have a nice, large driveway, and it's beautiful. And very possibly in a few days, we're going to come, uh, they're going to put limestone down just to make it look beautiful. But look at this. We have this beautiful, large, I'm so super excited about this, large, beautiful driveway. Whereas before, it was like all muddy and right? So now, large, beautiful driveway. We made a little rock garden over here so ah, super excited super beautiful super amazing day i can't believe it lots happened these guys were superstars today so yeah it's been wonderful and one more cool thing i want to show is we created a little water station by the way tons of heart rocks here tons of heart rocks here but we created a little water station because the grade changed so much like so we put some cinder blocks filled them with some chert and I'm going to put capstones, I'm going to put rebar in that in time and put some capstones on that. But we have a little filling station for our water here now, right below the rain leader. And so that way we can still access our water and that did not get buried. So a cool little aside in the entire setup here with the front patio. So standing here in the courtyard approaching up, these are those three steps that Brandon placed back during the, you know, when he was running you know, this, the pads for the houses. And look at this, boom. There's this beautiful mosaic of sort of gray, white, and red stones leading up to the main big stone in front of the big house here, right? And then as you can see, just all sorts of mosaic stones here. We have some, you know, hidden heart rocks in here for you. And I have another hidden heart rock over here for my heart rock people. But, um, yeah, that's that. And as you can see, it's kind of hidden by the wheelbarrow, but I made the wall a little bit bigger here for the uh, rain, for the water uh, water station. And why I made it a little bit bigger was, you know, I just didn't want someone accidentally walking off. So this is one brick higher than the rest of it. So people just won't accidentally fall in the big hole. So there's the update coming out from this angle here. I mean, that's just so cool, isn't it? How that came out. So anyway, there's your update of the beautiful stone patio. So this concludes the video on what I'm calling earthwork. Lots of earthwork. I'm just going to make it its own video just because it was so intense and so much. 
going on. So again, as you can see in better light, the really cool stone patio here with that 10 foot square stone, the swale up the way, and as you saw sort of in the earlier clip, um, the driveway up front. So lots happening. Either way, thank you for being on this continued journey with us here in Tennessee. It's quite amazing. And uh, stay tuned to next episode, what's gonna be? I don't know, we'll find out, but I'll put links below to other videos. And if you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel Traveling Bodhi. It's a wonderful journey, and if you don't know, I'll put a link up in the corner. Um, I also have a bus build that I did. You hear me talk about the bus occasionally, and I did a bus build video, so I have a whole bunch of those, 27, I believe, so check that out if you have not already. Either way, thank you all for listening. I love all of you. Be well. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, be well, everyone.